definitely a, a rocker. Goodbye. Disgusting cane. I think we did pretty good for our first time ever using cane. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how we were lucky enough to find a Bentwood rocking chair in the trash. Uh, just driving by earlier today, we found that. It, you know, it's a little worse for the weather. It's got a lot of imperfections, but we are extremely excited. Lindsay's had her eye on these chairs for a while. It just happened that someone was getting rid of one and it's definitely, as he mentioned, not in the best condition, but you can't beat free. So we are gonna show you how we bring it back to life. And I guess without further to do, we'll roll the clip of us finding this uh, Bentwood rocker in the trash. Chair. Something peeking out. What, what is it? Oh, <gasps> oh my goodness! It's got cane. Oh my gosh! Is that like is a that cane? Is that like a bent those bentwood rockers? Let's see. Let me get out of this car. Oh my gosh! Look at this. Okay, needs. <laughs> A little rough but oh it's definitely a, a rocker are we getting it yeah for sure okay all right we brought the rocking chair outside we're about to start the transformation and with step one it's going to be a, a nice sand we have our work cut out for us because almost all of the finish is already flaked off this poor thing had been sitting outside for who knows how long someone neglected it and it's just been rained on and in the sun. So there's hardly any finish. You can almost just use your finger and scrape it off, but that's step one is just gonna be sand it all down. All right, it's been 24 hours. Moment of truth, let's see if it holds. Oh yeah. Definitely better. All right, we've got some wood filler to fill in these cracks on the very bottom of it. We're just gonna open it and spread a little bit in there. Wait a few hours for it to dry and then paint over it. We have decided that I think um, instead of trying to stain this, because the the um, chair itself had probably been outside for I have no idea how long, but it's really not worth trying to sand everything down. Um, even if we did, I don't think it would get the best finish if we stained it. So instead, I think we're going to paint the exterior of it black. Um, so what we're going to do now is just prep it for paint. I'm going to wipe everything down just with some hot water, get off all the sawdust, and then um, probably remove this backing. surface for paint today we're going to be using this is just one of our go-to's it's just the Krylon paint it's from Lowe's it's a furniture chalk paint 
and what's nice is you can tint it any color so any color you see in the store you can tint it to be whatever color you'd like we went with the blackest black they had um so we're going to open this up and start putting a coat on it right now The next morning we got two coats on the chair and luckily we ordered some cane webbing that just arrived from Amazon so um, I'm not gonna lie we've never used this before um, but it's something I've always wanted to try out so you're gonna learn with us today um, the first step is we're gonna have to soak it in some water Loosen the spline up and then rip her out. Hard to pull up, it's really stuck in there. If there's a lot of glue holding it down, I just have to cut it off with a knife afterward. Goodbye. <laughs> Disgusting cane. So to apply the cane, you need some wooden wedges of some kind to hold it in place as you glue it down. You can go on Amazon and you can find a bunch of wooden wedges made specifically for it. Or if you have some scrap wood, um, you can just make them yourself. We have a two by four here, so we're gonna make a couple wooden wedges and save some money off Amazon. too much it's already got a little left over we completed the seats and I think we did pretty good for our first time ever Using cane, I was a little bit of trial and error, but I'm happy with it. And as you can see, the previous, the upper portion of the seat is definitely a different color by a lot. Um, so we're gonna attempt to just scrub it with some hot water and see if we can just get off a lot of the dirt and maybe it'll get it closer to matching. Um, so fingers crossed, let's uh, just start cleaning it down. <laughs> I know it's just wet, but maybe that'll get, oh, look at how much, yeah. Halfway scrubbed. Look at that nasty water. We have fully scrubbed it down just with water and it's definitely a closer shade. We still have to paint around here uh, black. So we're gonna see if it holds this color and go from there. We might end up having to stain this one darker. I'm not sure yet. We'll see what it looks like when it dries. That was a fail. <laughs> we let the water dry um, and the cane just went back to its look of just being weathered. So 
didn't dry the same color as we hoped. Um, we cleaned it, but we're going to have to go a different route. So I think we're going to take some linseed oil and brush it on here to give it a drink of water that's a little more permanent than just cleaning it with a sponge.